Hi everyone. In Music Maker Premium, up to and including 2016, there were some object synthesizers. I had these five here. Skipping to version 2017, which I guess you can call it, and we have a new screen format. The loops, instruments, and file manager are now in a right-hand column with tabs to go from one to the other. This is called the media pool. There's also a new tab for the store. But where are the object synthesizers? They're not under instruments. Scrolling down, we can't find any of these. So I asked Magix, and they told me that they were no longer supported, but that some were included in this new version for backwards compatibility. And there are many similar ones available on the internet and other ways to reproduce the same effects. Fine. But I want to use my object synths. So let's see what came with this program. Click on Help. Update Program Upgrade Functions. And we see Update Online, which you should have already done. And download free synthesizer and sound packages, which you should also already have done. If not, then do so now. Clicking on this brings up a menu of things to download. If you have them, great. If not, check off everything and click on Continue. But we're here to see something else. Click on Synthesizer and Effects. Look at the bottom of the screen and we see several synthesizers listed. Atmos and Livet are two that don't show up in Music Maker. DNE1, Revolta 2, and Vocoder, we've got. But we're also missing Beatbox 2, Loop Designer, and Robota that were in older versions. So for those of you who do not have the older versions of Music Maker, the most that you're going to get is Atmos and Livet, as they come with the program. But right now they're not accessible. So how do we get them to work? I'll get out of here and go back to Music Maker and open up Windows Explorer. These two, Atmos and Livet, are available under C, Program Data, Magix, Music Maker Premium, 2017, Synth. Well, it's a long one. I'll navigate to the Program Data folder with Windows Explorer. If you can't see Program Data, then it's probably hidden and you have to change the parameters in Windows Explorer under View, Options, View again, and click in the radio box for Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. And click on OK. Now the folder should show up. Navigate to Magic's Music Maker Premium 2017 Synth. Here we see several files. I already have all five here because I did this before. But you may only have two, just Atmos and Livid. To use them, you simply drag the atmos.syn file onto a track in Music Maker, and voila, it appears. Now drag livid.syn onto another track, and it appears. For both, an object is placed on the track that contains the information of whatever you have selected. If you close the instrument, to open it, double-click on the object. If you delete the object, the synthesizer's gone and you're going to have to drag it in again, so don't delete the object. To use Livid, if you click on Play, nothing happens. It's uh, not really a button. Click on the Play button or anywhere else on the instrument, almost anywhere else, then press the space bar and it will play whatever has been selected. You can change the parameters while it's playing. I'll select Intro. Now select the object on the track and press the space bar to play. We see that the instrument is being played back from the arranger because the playback marker is moving. And it's playing whatever the setup was in Livet, which is the intro. To change for the next part, you have to create another object. Firstly, the default object is too long, so I'll drag the right side to shorten it to two bars. Now with this still selected, hold down Control on the keyboard and drag the object to the right using the left mouse button or onto another track. I want, say, four bars for the verse, so drag out the right side to be four bars. With this object still selected, go and change the parameters in Livid. This only affects the currently selected object. I'll change this to verse, and change ride to bell, and snare to rimshot. Now play back the track, and we hear the intro, then the verse. Keep going like this until you have your entire song. You can always go back and change the parameters or lengths of the objects. Now, what about the other three synthesizers? 
If you had these in a previous version of Music Maker, go to the same synth folder under Program Data, but for the older program, of course, and copy everything that you don't have in the new version. This means any folders and files that were missing. Paste them into the same locations under Synth of the new program. Now, drag Beatbox2.syn onto Track 3, and there it is. Now, if you're concerned about doing this, then don't make a copy, but simply drag the SYN file from the previous version onto the arranger. Just remember to not remove the older program or the synths will be gone. Do the same for the other two synths, Loop Designer and Robota. Now we have all five synths that we're missing. You can see which is which because the name is shown at the bottom of the object. However, you should also change the name of the track. That would help. So the first one I'll change to Atmos, the second one to Livid, and so on. Now it would be a real pain to have to go and find these every time that you want to use one or more of them. So one solution is to save this project and call it Template Object Synths. Now whenever you want them, simply open this template file and then immediately do a Save As and give it the name of your project because you don't want to lose your clean template file. Of course you can also make template projects for each synth individually if you want. And you can make template projects for any setup that you want, even with other instruments and sound pools. Before leaving off, let's take a quick look at the display. That stuff on the right hand side takes up a lot of room. There are two buttons at the top to help. The one at the right closes the media pool and we've got some room to work. Clicking the button again brings it back and away again. Clicking on the left button closes the bottom window and again opens it. There are other viewing options. Click on view in the top menu to see them. F4 resets the window to the default view. So that's about it. Enjoy playing with these missing synths. Bye for now.